I am Jalmer Wikström. I'm one of the co-founders of Ten Chambers, and I am the Chief Development Officer. And I'm Santi Winternat, another co-founder, Chief Operating Officer, and we work on Denobos. So several of the founders of, the, of the, the Ten Chambers worked on some other Swedish game studios before, and we. At one point, we kind of got tired of doing the big studio thing and wanted to do something small. We've been working on GTF for many, many years. And of course, doubting along the road, uh, being self-funded, like, it was not about making a hit. Will it be enough to, so we can do another game and keep on doing this? Because we just wanted to make games. I still remember when I pressed the button on Steam to launch the game yeah. into Early Access. There was so much hope and so much riding on that, you know, yeah. thing working. It took us a week or two, and then we, we finally realized that, okay, this is good, you know, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we got somewhere. And that was just uh, such a blessing and something that made us very, very happy. And something we didn't expect, we, or we didn't plan around. We hope, right? But you can never plan around it. And it kind of made us, or at least me, be able to, okay, let's uh, look a little further ahead. What's more of in the future? What can we do with this? And how will this and out. For Denim Wolves, we went about it quite craftsman-like, I would say. We, we really started working on tooling straight away. Since we've made several cooperative shooters, there was a lot of things that we knew we just need to stand up, you know, early. So early, we didn't have to prototype the known things. We knew that we had to make, like, a good network transport layer, a good weapon system, a good core movement system. There was a lot of just core elements that we needed to have that makes a good first-person shooter. And those were are very known to us. The sooner we could do that, the sooner we could get into the more out there gameplay elements. That is like the new things of Denim Wolves where we're trying to incorporate sci-fi aspects or, or new cooperative mechanics. So usually when we're going for a certain level of fidelity, we, we're used to doing things ourselves. We're trying to find existing solutions, but we, we always end up with having to roll our own, you know. And we, we had the same experience with the lighting probes. Like we wanted to have nice ambient occlusion, we wanted to have, you know, nice looking scenes. But um, when we tried to roll our own probe system, it, it took forever to generate. It was, it's quite hard to get right. And while I think that we could get there in the end, it would take forever to, you know, yeah. and we really want to focus on gameplay. One of the great benefits with Unity is the modularity. So in some cases, we've written our own systems, like we have some network systems that we had to build ourselves because we started early and there were no other systems for it. But I spoke to our lead programmer today and he, he looked at some of the new multiplayer features coming out and he's like, we can pipe into that. We can still keep our own thing, but we can utilize the new multiplayer testing capabilities that we've got. So the modular approach is really key for us to like, we want to be able to utilize Unity as much as possible when we can. And sometimes we need to do our own thing. Sometimes we can utilize what's already done. But that's really good for us. The flexibility is important. Because as soon as you get painted in a corner, that then you run out of options, kind of. And I don't feel it's like that with Unity. And now when we finally had this probe system in Unity 6, we're quite happy to let our own stuff go and you know switch to this, because uh, so much more efficient. So why Unity 6? I mean, we, we saw the potential of it, both performance-wise, rendering quality, and we let the teams play around with it. And seeing the results, I think I, I remember when the, one of the uh, art directors showed like the screenshots before, after, it looks really nice. And then hearing from the programmers as well, well, this is, this is good, this is performant. Hey, why not let's, let us investigate how much effort it would be to, to switch. And it went quite good. During this last year, the times we've spoken to Unity, and the different Unity departments, like the engineers, the different, you know, um, like the DOTS team and, and other teams, it's been super clear to us the commitment to like, okay, we want to really make this good. We're not going to release it until it works well, until it's performant, until it's stable. And that was 
a little bit new to us because it's been a roller coaster mm. the last couple of years and, and now it was really like we're committing Unity 6 is gonna be you know stable, something you can trust in. Yeah. And that really gave us confidence to, to make that move. From a design perspective, when planning for a console release, you need to think about you know, obviously in input systems like controls and, and um, performance as well. So GTA 4 is a pure PC game. But for Den of Wolves, we've been thinking about, we've been designing for console from the beginning. Um, so, I mean, you need to be conscious of that when you make your design decisions, basically, to keep complexity down in terms of input and to plan for like a, a scalability in terms of uh, performance and for the graphical fidelity. We've been trying out ray tracing in, in Unit 6, and what we're finding is that it, it can really allow us to, to, to get to that extra visual level. Of, yeah, I've been speaking about identity and uh, you know creating a look for Den of Wolves, and we're quite excited by having ray tracing as a way of doing that. Like we, we're you know we're making a science fiction game, so so reflections and you know all the lights and all that is very important for us. So. Uh, I think that's the way forward for us. I mean, just uh, seeing some of the test scenes or like the new levels that we're creating right now, just the lightings and the reflections, it's <laughs> it's really, really good. You can see it before and after. It, it's a major difference. We're making a first-person shooter, so we live and die by performance. You know, we, mm. can't, we can't release a, a shooter that is not performing, mm. so that has been something we've been thinking about from day one. One of the major things with, with Unit 6 is that we're moving a lot of loads from the CPU to the GPU to make sure that, well, it's more efficient there, it's more powerful, it's faster, and then we can optimize the CPU part as well. There's a lot of benefits we get from Unit 6, and the spatial temporal post-processing is one of them. And it allows us to upscale from lower resolutions to higher resolutions and keep the performance intact as well. So that's, yeah, that's really good for us. The switch from object-oriented to data-oriented is, uh, is one that gives us more structure, gives us much better separation between data and execution. It's a quite a big undertaking for our programmers. There's a lot of things to learn to really get your ECS up and running, you know, to get your systems right, to get your data right. So you need to take some care in how you design it still. You're, you need to care about the architecture. But once you do that, you have a great foundation for maintaining your game for a long time. So it's worth the investment, but it's important to know that it is an investment in skill, in time, in the beginning. But I, th I think it's one of the benefits with Unity. So now we're not limited by this, these technical boundaries that we had before. Then Wolves is, is one of our bigger games for sure. So we have a, we're, we're thinking a lot about risk mitigation. We're thinking a lot about like how to build the product for long term. So for us, seeing the commitment in Unity 6 is really like make us relax a little bit and seeing the commitment to dots, to, to performance, to stability is really good for us. That's something that, that if there's one takeaway from this is that like I can feel more secure, I can feel more confident in Unity now than actually in many years. The team is excited about, about <laughs> starting working fully in Unit 6.